Hi Sagittarius, I am here to do your weekly reading. Let's take an overall card from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck to give you the energy of the week. You have the Groundhog Spirit. Time to let go. All right. Now only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Okay? Whoa, that flew out. We'll take that. <laughs> the lovers. Okay. Get a few more. And now if you like this video, please give it a like and share, subscribe. It all helps the channel grow, which I would really appreciate. And we have more than three. The universe has decided we need more than three. Okay, then. You will do that. Because the universe gets what the universe wants. Okay, so let's talk about these for a minute. You have the lovers. It's about choices. And it is about you having a beautiful, soul-honored connection. Okay? You successfully integrate dual forces into a unified state. But you face a choice of the highest moral grounds. So that kind of leaves it open a little bit, but there might be choices that you need to make here. And the groundhog spirit is saying it's time to let go. So we'll see what else comes out. Here you have the two of wands. Now if you notice this person is holding on to the world. They know what they want. They're just trying to figure out how to go forward, how to achieve this thing that they are after. And next, you have the Two of Pentacles. And this is balance, trying to create balance in your life, like the yin and yang kind of thing, good, bad, etc. And then next, you have the Death card. And the death card, it's a transition. It's like the end of one cycle and the beginning of another cycle. So, that goes along with the time to let go, too. This might be a little deeper than, you know, originally thought when I very first looked at it. And here, the Four of Cups. You're seeing these three cups. You're not seeing the cup that the universe is trying to hand to you. You're not very pleased with these three. Okay, you're, you're focused in the wrong direction. You need to be focused here, not here. And what's at the bottom of the deck can have an influence over everything out here. Okay. And so I can see how this Groundhog Spirit applies to most of these cards it's time to let go let go of the i don't know if it's an obsession but it's definitely a focus let go of the focus on these three cups look at what the universe is giving to you death time to let go of this cycle or whatever it is time for a new start not so much this one here is well, not so much this one either, maybe. Um, this is knowing what you want and trying to figure out how to get there. Maybe it's time to let go of trying to figure it out. Just go. You'll figure it out along the way. And the lovers don't know. It says that there's a high moral choice to make. Maybe it's time to let go of either the whatever the problem could potentially be or the relationship. Let's get 
some more cards to see if we can get any more information. Okay, that one to the flip out. This is the Seven of Pentacles. And what that is about, um, the picture is actually very much on target. It's like if you had seeds, you planted the seeds in your garden. You tend to it, you water it, you make for sure it gets enough sun. You weed it and you continually take care of it and you're watching your garden grow. And that's the point that this person is at. Okay, so let's get another card. Victory. This is a victory card. The Six of Wands. It's kind of like this person went off to battle. Not literally, it could be anything. But they have come back victorious. And you see there's people back here that are cheering this person on. And that's a victory wreath. So whatever's going on, you're victorious. Okay, one more card. And don't forget to check your sun, moon, and rising for a more complete picture. Oh, look, this is beautiful, too. This is a celebration. It's the Four of Wands. You see the four there? It's like 11-11. It's like a portal going in to celebrate. It could be any kind of celebration. Oftentimes, people say that it could be a wedding. But here, you're victorious. And here you're celebrating probably this victory. And at the bottom of the deck, can you see this? Is, let me scoot this over a little. Okay, is the King of Wands. Which is a very nice king. The King of Wands is very social. He, um... Is a visionary leader and ready to lead his team towards a common goal. Others gravitate towards him because he is charismatic, focused, and determined. And like I said, he is very social. You're seeing these three cups. You are not seeing what the universe is giving to you. It's problematic. And it influences this. Here you have the lovers, which is a choice an important choice you know what you want and you're just trying to figure out how to go forward and here you are trying to create balance of some sort I could see how that could apply to this or maybe all of it and you have the death card which is a transformation you're transforming out of something and into something else and to me these almost look like two different stories so maybe you're transforming out of this and into this. Maybe you're trying to create the balance, not seeing, making a choice, and it's leading you down this path. You're looking here saying, I know what I want. How do I get there? This is how you do. You know what you want. You go for it. You've if you don't know how to do it, you go for it anyway, and you figure it out along the way, which creates success, victory, and then you celebrate. And the King of Wands, he's a team leader. He pulls everybody together as a group. He's got to be a very good leader. And remember, his energy influences this as well. Okay, so it looks like a good week. And this time to let go, I would think would apply to this. Okay. Stop looking at these three cups, which is down here. And look at this cup, which is here. Okay. Let go of this and get this. Let's see if the universe has anything they would like to add. I'm sure they do.
beautiful. Six of Pentacles. And what else? Ah, <laughs> I have to move this card. Okay? Because look at what this is. Same card. Ah. Uh, spoiler. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here, we have the Six of Pentacles. And this is all about generosity. Either you are wanting to be generous with others, or they are wanting to be generous with you. Or it could go both ways. Which is beautiful. And then... You have the very same card twice in the same position. And this is a universe's way of saying, I meant what I said. You are going to be victorious. Whatever you went through here, it's gone. You had a transformation. It looks like you did look at your cup that the universe was giving you. You're starting down that road, and you are victorious, okay? Problem child here. This can mean one of two things. It could either be that there's trickery going on, but if there is, it would be back here, not up here, okay? Scoot these down a little. I could see this possibly being in relationship to probably this, but somewhere in here. And the other thing it could be, which would still apply, is that you can't do everything for everybody all the time. That there are times you have to put yourself first in order to get what it is that you need and or want. So it's probably... The latter, you know, that because here you're trying to find balance, so it's probably that you were trying to do too much. And this uh, universe is just mentioning this, but here they're showing you beautiful, wise decision making this transformation happen so you can get this beautiful life. Okay. So the time to let go is really appropriate for here because you get something great here. Okay, let's get a charm. Let's see what we get. And I don't look, so I don't know. Let's see, what is this? Oh, hey. This is really awesome. The first time it's ever come out. I think it is a gold bar. Yeah. A gold bar. So riches, wealth, yay, beautiful. Where should we put this? Probably on the success, huh? Or on the celebration. We'll put it on success because we got that one twice. Congratulations. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. Okay? Love and light. Take care. Bye.